Hello fellow traders, welcome to another video on my channel Tradition Algo where I discuss about trading strategies, indicators, algo trading and trading tools. So today's topic is how to install your MT4 terminal inside your VPS. So this is very important for the traders because after backtesting, uh, they need to monitor how their algo trading is performing. So the only way to verify that is to install their expert advisors in a constantly running system. So VPS is nothing but a computer which is running 24 into 7. In your local machine, you cannot do this because you need to run your expert advisor 24 7. And in your local machine, there could be many interruptions like power cut and network disconnection and many other things which may interrupt your constant execution of your MT4 terminal. So without talking further, uh, let me show you how you can configure your VPS with MT4 terminal and expert advisors. So before that, uh, you have to purchase a VPS plan. So there are many VPS providers available in the market. So you can pick any one of them, but today, I am going to show you the demo with FX VPS Pro. Uh, it is my personal preference. I do not force you to go with this VPS server, uh, but let me tell you their latency is very good and I've been using their service since last two years and I didn't face any problem uh, till now. So after logging into FS VPS Pro, you have to go to the service section like you can see uh, I have a standard service. You can browse their VPS plan. So if you are trading, so if you are trading four to five accounts, standard plan will be sufficient. Let me go back to my home area and if I click on this, it will open up the details for my VPS server. So I have to go to the additional information section and there you can find your IP address and username. And for password, when you purchase the VPS, they will send the password along with these details to your personal email ID, which is registered over here. Uh, so let me open my VPS server here. So as you can see, I have put the IP address. Now I have to go to show more option. The username has selected as administrator for me. So for you, it will be a editable text box. You can put the administrator uh, here and after you click on connect, it will ask for the password for you. But as I have remembered my credential, it won't ask password for me. It will simply log in. Well, uh, we are in the desktop of our VPS. You can see some of the VPS provider uh, also provide the MT4 and MT5 setup. But let me show you what will happen if I try to install them. So I'm clicking on MT4 setup. So if I click on next, installation will be started, but you will see a problem. See, uh, we have a pop-up like proxy server. So you don't need to do anything here. Okay, so we can see because uh, this won't work inside VPS. Uh, there is no server details. Even if you put the server details and login and password, it won't work. So there is a easy fix. So let us close all this. and simply go to our local desktop and let us go to the c drive so see we have already installed mt4 in our local environment so what we have to do is uh, we have to just copy the installation folder and paste it inside dps so i am selecting the octa market method trader 4 and copying it and I will go to the C drive of VPS, same folder, program files x86. We will simply paste it in. It will take some time. Let's wait till then. 
Okay, so our setup file has been copied fully. So now let us open this folder and copy this terminal.exe file. And next we have to go to our desktop and paste its shortcut. Now let us try to open this. You can see our uh, MT4 terminal has been opened. Uh, now we have several options like as I have copied the OctaFX uh, setup, it is showing the OctaFX server at the top. But let us spawn now install Metacourse demo. So as you can see, Metacourse demo appeared on the top. Let me select it and click on next. Uh, I will open a new demo account quickly. So I will put next. So it has configured my Metacourse demo account. Let me click on finish. I will hide all the symbols here. It will open only a few. Okay, so our account has been configured now. Uh, now it is time to configure our expert advisor. So for that, uh, I have already kept the expert advisor file in my desktop. I will open this and I will copy both the file. Uh, so it is not necessary to copy both the file. If you copy the .exe4 file only, that is also fine. So but for now, let us copy both the files. So .exe means the main EA file and the .mq4 file means the source code of the EA file. Let us copy both of them. And we have to go to data folder. So our BPS uh, data folder has been opened. So we'll go to MQL4 and then we will go to experts. And here you can see there are some preloaded expert advisors. So let us paste our copy expert advisor here. Okay, let's close this. Now, if you expand this, you still don't see your expert advisor for that. You just have to refresh. So now it's time to add this to our chart. So for this, right click on the export advisor and attach it to chart. So before that, go to common tab of the export advisor and allow the live trading. If your export advisor uses any external DLL file, then you have to check on this option as well. But you probably notice that still the smiley icon here is not smiling. So that means your expert advisor is not loaded yet. So the reason behind this is we have not enabled the auto trading in the toolbar. As you can see, it is marked as red and it is uh, giving us the option to enable auto trading. Before that, uh, one more important step is there. Like uh, we have to go to tools and go to option. And then we have to go to export advisor and we have to click on this option, allow automated trading. And then we have to check this option as well, allow DLL imports and press okay. Now we are done. Uh, our expert advisor is running. You can check in the experts tab, like it is trying to trade now. So as you can see, it has placed our first trade of the expert advisor. So that means our setup is complete. So there are a few important suggestions like uh, I will go to tools and options again. So here you can see like uh, two check boxes are check disable automated trading when the account has been changed and disable automated trading when the profile has been changed. That means if you add a new account, automatic trading will be disabled by default. So if you don't want that, you can uncheck these boxes. And if you change your account and somehow these checkboxes were checked, you have to uncheck them manually. 
one more important advice while you are using expert advisor inside VPS is uh, you should load minimum number of chart objects. So for that, you have to go to charts and reduce the number of bars that are active in the chart a little bit. So I'm reducing one zero four from both of these max bars in this and max bars in chart. So we are pretty much done here. I hope you find the information helpful and insightful in your trading journey. Like I always say, trading is a continuous learning process and there is always something new to discover. Always remember to approach trading with a discipline, patience, and sound risk management strategy. Keep learning, keep growing. Lastly, remember to subscribe my channel for more trading content and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Also, feel free to comment with any questions or suggestion for the future topics you would like us to cover. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.